When our first UR Cobot arrived, it was definitely very exciting. We started with the UR10s. It was very easy for us to prototype, test quickly, iterate on our motion planning, and actually improve the product uh, before deploying on our first commercial job sites. We went with the UR Arms because they're simple, intuitive to use interface. They're high uh, strength to weight ratio. And thinking long term about kind of workers using it in the field, it's by far the simplest uh, UI for workers. We are super excited for the UR20s, the increased reach and increased payload capacity. What this has allowed us to do is to address more high-risk applications, especially for the facade bracket installations. With our new IP65 rating, that also has unlocked a lot of potential for us. We have peace of mind when we're in the field with the robot, and it's been a fantastic value add for us. We actually work our robots in the rain and uh, in the wind, in dust. Because Universal Robots offers a very nice remote motion interface, we're able to seamlessly control both arms at the same time and synchronize them together. And that's not something that would be possible if UR didn't spend a lot of effort developing this nice uh, motion interface. It's definitely a very unique differentiator, especially one that can stream commands at a very high frequency. One of the really nice features about the Universal Robots is the large amount of joint rotations on each joint. That makes it really easy to develop certain applications where we need really large continuous Cartesian movements. We integrate the Universal Robots onto a mobile platform that is fully battery powered. Because Universal Robots has done a really great job of making their arms very power efficient, as well as making it easy to integrate into a DC powered solution, we can directly connect our arms to the battery and have our robots operating fully wirelessly on a construction site. Universal Robots has been really easy to contact and get support from. Um, whenever we had a technical question, we can immediately call somebody and get our questions answered very quickly. We've used a wide variety of resources from UR, everything from the online technical documentation, which was very nice and easy to read, to support the uh, MyUR, as well as the forums on both the Universal Robots website as well as their GitHub. I think a lot of people have an impression of the construction industry that it's slow to adopt new innovations. What's really challenging is that construction is an industry where everything has to go right. Buildings need to house hundreds of thousands of people. As a result, things can't go wrong. But I think that robotics today has now caught up to a point where it is possible to develop very robust machines to work in these environments where it wasn't possible to do before.